Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the M63 Angle Rotator by William Optics. If you're like me, you shoot monochrome, and you're searching for a solution to line up your target night after night. It didn't take me long to find this angle rotator, but I was about sticker shock when I saw the $109 price tag that William Optics was asking for this. So naturally, I ordered it because I was curious. And maybe those of you that are thinking about getting this piece might get some insight from this video. The William Optics angle rotator is of solid aluminum construction. It seemed very well made. But as you can see here, my rotator's paint was a little uneven. I don't think it would have degraded my image at all, but I honestly had to take a paint pen to it to get that nice finish inside. The install was pretty self-explanatory. On my Z73, I removed the two step-down rings that are located on the optical tube. Then I screwed the rotator into the OTA. The rotator does have a very thoughtful design. The small screw you see here adjusts the tension and the larger one locks it down. Once unlocked, you can move the rotator freely. And as you can see here, all the markings are very easy to read. And keep in mind, if you're going to be using this with a dedicated astro camera, you're gonna need those two step down rings. This won't change your back focus at all, but it will change your focus point 22 millimeters forward, meaning you will reach focus a lot sooner. One other thing of note is the degree markings on the rotator itself cannot be rotated, meaning as soon as the rotator is screwed in, those degree markings are going to be at that fixed point. So you might ask, how did it work out in the field? Well, it felt natural and smooth to adjust. I couldn't help thinking that this piece should have been part of my telescope from the get-go. But I can see how William Optics chose to omit it to bring that price point down. And it did help me get my first LRGB and picture of M51 through some pretty sketchy weather conditions. I don't know, the sky isn't terrible, but it's not great either. I got clouds kind of coming in. I got this cloud right here, but I'm shooting like into this clear patch. So I'll probably have to pause my session here in just a minute. But here is the install, which is great. And it's kind of nice. I, I dialed up uh, the angle and I just made note of it. So next time I shoot in LRGB, I can just rotate it to that degree. So it's, it's actually really nice. I love it. So was this doodad worth $100? Well, that's hard to say. I don't think it's worth $100, okay? But it's made my life a lot easier and I'm able to frame up my targets with a little bit more accuracy. And to me, that's worth $100 right there. So take it as you will. Maybe you're thinking about getting this and maybe uh, you already have it. Let me know if you already have it and what you think of it. And if you're about to get it, are you going to get it after this video? Alright, well, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.